Hi, this is George, and I'm going to show you how I plan my weekly and yearly calendar. So first of all, you're going to get access to, to this exact template. And this is a template that I keep updating for myself uh, regularly, and you'll be able to access it and see what I'm up to. <laughs> it's sort of how I structure my time uh, nowadays. Uh, so what you're seeing here may look different when you, when you access it. But anyway, here, here we go. So first of all, uh, this is the, the category. Uh, so these are breaks that I take um, you know, every, every day. These are maintenance type of activities. These are activities regarding my clients. These are activities I do for free, you might say, but uh, of course it, it benefits audience building, but basically I serve for, when I serve for free. And then this is the activity that I do when I do my um, sort of ongoing marketing and enrollment time and then sort of flex, flex time. Okay, so these categories, and here's the sort of detail activity. Let me walk you through these real quick. Um, this is my morning breakfast and cleanup time, uh, weekly hours. So this is how I fill it out. And when you come into this template, you should be able to click on file and then click make a copy. You won't be able to do some of these other things because I'm an admin, but you should be able to make a copy of it. This assumes, by the way, that you're logged into your own Google Drive. You have a Google Drive account it's free, by the way, and you log into it, and then you come into this template, you should be able to make a copy. Okay, so when you come in and make a copy, you can totally change, and I would encourage you to change the categories as needed, to change the activities. Obviously, you don't have to copy exactly what I do, although this has been pretty stable now for a while, so it's a pretty, uh, it's, it's a model of a successful solopreneur uh, coaching business, okay? So what you need to do is to first clarify a couple things. What are your total hours of that you are basically in your working hours, your office? I don't literally work from 7.15 at 7 p.m., uh, 7.15 at 8. I don't, I don't work 12 hours because I have plenty of breaks during the day, as you can see. But I do, uh, what I do is I, I calculate, well, 7.15 and 7 p.m. Monday through Friday is 11.75 um, hours per day times Monday through Friday is 58.75. So if you double click this formula, you can see that this formula is basically um, 58, uh, 58, D21, oh actually it's down here, 58.75 is, um, is the sort of 7.57 a.m., okay? Um, and then excluding breaks, you don't have to do anything, but you, you do have to fill this one out. Uh, so I'm just going to highlight that one. So you do have to fill that one out, okay? Uh, and then this is a formula, so don't, don't, don't touch that. Uh, you, you should probably fill out these as well. Well, these, these you should know you should fill out. So two and a half hours. So basically two and a half hours each week. So that's half an hour a day. I do morning breakfast and cleanup. And then one and a half hours every single week I do my mid-morning walk. It's, so I basically put in these, these hours so that this becomes zero. So for example, if I had like, if I had like, you know, an hour a day, let's say I was doing this stuff, then you could see that this automatically changes to be two and a half hours available. Is, is what it is. And I said, okay, well, I'd rather do an hour and a half a day of, you know, breaks and errands, um, you know, mid-morning walk, that kind of thing. So if I change that, that goes back to zero, which means that there's now zero, zero hours available in this time frame. Lunch and nap, one hour a day. Morning review is when I do my, uh, which I can show you. If, you. if you move your mouse over this morning review, basically whenever you see this black corner, you can move your mouse over it, and then you can uh, copy and paste this into a different tab to see what I literally do during my morning reviews. As you can see, the morning review, these are, these are the activities I do. Okay, all right, uh, let's see here. End of day review, really the same, the same document will show you what I do end of day. And then, um, let's see here. And then get, I, I get coached too. I feel like everybody ideally would have a coach themselves. So I, as a coach, I follow my own advice and I have a coach too. Um, so, oh, and then these days, right? Which day do you do these activities? I do these activities every single day, the ones thus far. The getting coached is flexible. Sometimes we do it different days. Uh, and then the client time, I prepare clients and look at their social media about 15 minutes um, per day, depending on what clients that day. And then one of my one-on-one -on -one client calls 12 and a half hours a week is about the maximum that I do. Uh, but if you don't, if I don't have 12, 12 and a half hours that week, then I will spend the additional time either creating content or doing enrollment, like getting more clients, right? Um, uh, right now I happen to be booked 
solid for another three months. So um, even though I'm booked completely, sometimes I still have extra time. So then I create content because I don't need more clients right now. Um, post client call process and break. So after my client, I do a quick checklist on how could I improve next time, that kind of thing. Uh, so that's about one hour a day that I spend. That I break it up into right after each client meeting. So that's one hour a day, maybe 20 minutes. If I have three client meetings, then I take a 20 minute break after each client meeting, right? Um, group call or client forum time, that's for my clients. And then I, I improve my services and, and do program development one hour a week. I think about how I can improve my. Uh, my experience for my clients, etc. So you can see I do this on Mondays. I do a group call or client forum time Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Um, social media, oh, short content and social media posting. You probably know that I do a video Monday through Friday. And so that's the time I spend um, uh, doing that. Uh, so about an hour and about an hour and uh, whatever, an hour, 15 minutes is uh, every day I spend. Um, you know, writing the blog post about it, doing the, the video, you know, yeah, that kind of thing. So um, create and improve free guides and courses. I spend three hours a week on that. Free helping is when I respond to people's emails who are not my clients. I do that one hour a week on Fridays. Uh, enrollment and marketing habits. Um, uh, I'll talk about it in another, that's, a, that's another video. Uh, actually, I have a video called Business Habits, so you might want to look at that one. Flex time is really important to have in your week because you can't expect to be fully booked on everything. You need some flexibility in case there's you know, meetings that come up or you want to spend time doing something else, another project that's important. And so this is sort of like an analysis and these, these will automatically do this and you just want to make sure you're adding it up. So client time, I added up uh, these, these numbers here in the purple um, to come up with that and then the free content and helping, I added up these three, etc. Okay, so I just these these you need to check the formulas and add up yourself. Breaks, okay, everything. And then this is just basically, you know, twenty-two point two five hours divided by fifty points eight point seven five is I spend approximately this. Oh, this is excluding breaks. So this is basically this time minus my my break hours per week. So I actually work forty about forty-four hours a week. And so out of the forty-four hours a week. 51% of that time is spent with paid client time, basically. And then everything else is, is here like this. Um, these are a bunch of principles and, and, ID and, and um, tips. If you want to just go here and press double click on this to be able to see what the, what the tip is, etc. Let me now actually show you my actual um, calendar, okay? Uh, so I'm just showing you going forward to January 2016 when I, I have clients all the way until the end of 2015. So what you're looking at now is I have no clients. Um, oh, this is really weird. Why is this? Uh, give me a second here. I don't know why this is showing up like this. Um, there you go. That was really strange. Um, okay. Personal. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then um, personal work. Okay. So I want to show. Okay. I'm running out of time on this video. But basically, you see how this is already all recurring. I didn't put these in, you know, these are all recurring. I set it once and then it just keeps re re repeating what my morning routine is. Eight to six to nine. And then in, in case you're more, I have a whole video about my morning routine. Uh, Aaron, so this is like free client appointment time, more client appointment time, uh, client appointment time. This is my course I'm teaching. Um, but notice that I, I put my client appointment times right after my client appointment times is some kind of break, some kind of errands or dog walk or you know, or lunch or nap or uh, post client call process. I have, I have, I have two half hour slots scheduled here, but let's say I had a, a client wanted to, for some reason, meet during that time slot and I allowed it. If I did allow it, then I would move this post client call slot over here and I would move my end of day review um, further down. Does that make sense? So you, the nice thing about Google Calendar is you can move these things around as needed. But set it as a recurring thing. So, for example, this is set on repeating week every weekday, Monday through Friday, and and it ends never. So it just keeps repeating. Just need to discard changes here. So I hope that's helpful to get a get a sense of things. I'm running out of time on this video. Let me know if you have any questions. But here's my entire schedule. I keep my weekends as as free as possible without any appointments, any obligations. So uh, with that, I hope this is helpful. Let me know if you have any questions.